lot of people are curious about gaming in Linux and if it's viable for them when using a Nvidia GPU. Most distributions that are mentioned to new users are gaming distros like Nobara, Bazite or CacheOS. These distributions have pre-installed or have instructions on how to install their gaming packages, for example, CacheOS. But how does a normal distro like Endeavor OS compare to a gaming distro like CacheOS? Stick around if you want to find out if the hype around gaming distros is real. As Endeavor OS doesn't have any documentation on how to set it up for gaming, I had to search online. Using Arch Linux Wiki, I made sure that I have the correct NVIDIA drivers installed. After I checked if, in my case, AMD microcode was installed by default, and it was there. I moved to installing game mode and added my user to the game mode user group. To see if it worked, I just run game moded space minus T to test and see if it was set properly. After I proceeded in installing wine staging. As I need to test games, I installed Mango HUD and after G overlay. I moved to install Steam, Latris and Heroic Launcher. In order to install Heroic Launcher, I needed to use Yay as it is part of OR packages. I used Proton App Qt, again an OR package, in order to add Proton G to Steam, a translation layer that applies some tweaks over the default ones provided by Valve. Proton G is built and maintained by Glorious Agrol, the man behind Nobara Distro. And that's it. It took me like 30 minutes to install everything and set up the game launchers to use the translation layers that I want. On the other hand, in Cache OS it takes less than 2 minutes, as I used the apps, tweaks and chose the install gaming package option. Also, Cache OS has its own tweaks applied for both Proton and Wine translation layers. The NVIDIA video drivers were the same, while the kernel version were different. Cache OS comes with a newer version, 6.16, while Endeavor OS was on kernel 6.15, both the latest versions at the time of testing. I will focus only on meaningful side-by-side -side runs where I show the graphic settings used alongside averages and the 1% low values. In the charts for each resolution, I will include the Windows 11 results. This way you can paint a better picture. I will start with raster and after move to ray tracing and path tracing games. First, let's start with Counter-Strike 2 at 1440p. This game runs native in Linux. The GPU utilization is not maxed out and we see that Cache OS delivers better averages, but that's only a 2% increase over Endeavor OS. The 1% low values for Cache OS are way better though. That is 22% more. It seems that Cache OS does a bit better in low GPU utilization scenarios. Let's move now to Spider-Man 2. At 1440p without ray tracing, both Linux distributions deliver the same average performance. But Cache OS is more consistent in the 1% low values as it has a 25% performance lead over Endeavor OS. This performance lead disappears at 4K, with Endeavor OS technically in the lead, but in reality you could not tell them apart. Witcher 3 was running using Wine as Proton seems to lose performance. At 1440p Endeavor had a technical lead with 1.8 more frames on average, but Cache OS had a lead of 32% when it comes to the 1% low values. At 4K the tables are turned. Endeavor OS delivers better averages and 1% low values, but the difference is so small that it can be called a tie. In Clear Obscure, both distributions deliver the same results, but technically Endeavor OS was ahead by 1 or 2 FPS. The same behavior was observed when I moved to 4K. In Monster Hunter Wilds, at 1440p, the two Linux distributions were basically tied, delivering the same 1% low values and averages while at 4K, Cache OS delivered better 1% low values, around 27% more to be more precise. The last game that I'm gonna have a look in the side-by-side -side runs is Stellar Blade, where at 1440p both Linux distributions produce the same results. At 4K, Endeavor OS has better averages, if an almost 2% can be called a lead, while the 1% low values are 12% lower when compared to Cache OS.
And here is the 1440p chart with all the games tested and Windows 11 alongside. CacheOS seems to deliver more wins at least when looking at the 1% low values, and this can be visible in the averages obtained across all games. These distros are basically tied, while the average obtained for the 1% lows across the games tested is in favor of CacheOS. With that said, the bigger gap is caused by Counter-Strike 2 and this will be evident at 4K. Now, this is the chart for the games tested at 4K and Counter-Strike 2 is not included as I never tested it. Looking at the overall averages across all games tested, there is no performance difference. While the 1% low values are a bit better on cache OS, but no way near the gap seen at 1440p. Let's move to ray tracing and path tracing scenarios. First, let's have a look at Witcher 3 at 1440p. I'm using Wine Staging on Endeavor OS, while on Cache OS, the one that was installed with the gaming packages. The averages are a bit better on Cache OS, but a 2% lead is not noticeable. A bit of a surprise are the 1% low values, with Endeavor OS delivering 10% better results. The difference becomes more evident at 4K, where Endeavor OS lead is both in averages and 1% low value. Doom the Dark Ages was tested with path tracing maxed out and at 1440p Endeavor OS has a small advantage when it comes to the averages but loses when it comes to the 1% low values. At 4K though, both distros are tied, but technically, Cache OS is a bit ahead. Cyberpunk 2077 was tested with only path tracing, skipping ray tracing. At 1440p, both Arch-based distros deliver the same averages, but Cache OS stands out with the better 1% low values, managing to deliver around 19% more performance over Endeavor OS. The same behavior can be seen at 4K, with Endeavor OS losing in the 1% low category while matching Cache OS in averages. In Spider-Man 2, using ray tracing at 1440p, again, the two distributions are tied in averages. The trend continues when it comes to the 1% low values, with Cache OS being a bit better. The gap is maintained at 4K, equal averages, better 1% low values for Cache OS. And this is the chart with all games tested at 1440p. The trend is, Cache OS is a bit better in the 1% low values, while Endeavor OS matches it in averages. This is the chart for the averages at 1440p, where it underlines the findings. Now, let's move to the 4K chart. The 1% low values wins are split, showing that there is no clear winner. The same can be said about averages. No clear winner. Technically, in the games tested, Endeavor OS has a small win, I call it margin of error, and I would say that both distributions perform more or less the same. So, is Cache OS the better distro? I would say no, you have to understand that I can use the same gaming package and install it in Endeavor OS. I can even use the same kernel that was used in Cache OS. I think that the people behind Cache OS are doing an amazing job, and the improvements that are applied over the vanilla kernel are hard to materialize in games. The difference in performance comes mostly from different translation layers used and maybe some tweaks that the 6.16 kernel has over the 6.15. By the time this video is released, most likely Endeavor OS will be on kernel 6.16. Gaming distros are good for newcomers, as those have already packages ready to be installed that contain everything you need to start gaming. It helps newcomers as most are not sure what is needed to install and start gaming on Linux. Some distros even install the gaming packages by default and you will not need to do anything else besides setting up the Steam client or whatever app you will use to run games. To conclude, Cache OS is an amazing distro and the work that its maintainers are doing can be applied to any Arch-based distro out there and this is the best thing about Linux. I compared it to Endeavor OS and I explicitly didn't use its packages to see if those make any difference. The result is a mixed bag, in the sense that there is no clear winner. Keep in mind that the results seen are obtained from free runs and sometimes frame drops can be had in some run, affecting the overall result. I would say that both distros are evenly matched and gaming is within margin of error when comparing all Arch-based distributions. And that's it for this video. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comments below what is your operating system of choice.
Take care and I hope to see you all in the next one.